Welcome to the IFRS YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about how the equipment for the gasless surgery or gasless laparoscopic surgeries evolved over time. We are interested in gasless laparoscopic surgery for rural areas because it is possible to do them under spinal anesthesia, which is easily available in any rural or remote areas. It is easy to learn. And also it has uh, advantages like uh, single incision surgeries are uh, easily possible. And maintaining the equipment also is not uh, all that difficult. If you look at uh, why we are interested in uh, gasless laparoscopy surgery, you need to go back to the earlier days when we were doing open surgeries. But for small procedures like uh, diagnosing something, taking small bit of biopsy. If you need to take, make big uh, incisions for open surgery, it is not worth it. And uh, the healing, and uh, it's almost like a major surgery for a small thing. So then we started uh, using whatever we have for making this possible. So we started with uh, the sister scope, which is available. And then, uh, instead of the regular laparoscopy equipment, which is very, very, very expensive. We use a relatively less expensive sister scope, but even this needed the camera and the part of the setup. And then uh, again, uh, another big problem was uh, laparoscopic surgeries with that. You need to do it under general anesthesia. And if you look at here, this is a, uh, anesthesia equipment which uses ether, which most of the modern anesthesiologists uh, would uh, never use because they <coughs> think it is only of historical interest because they use the more expensive modern ones. If you look at the way the medical equipment is evolved, it is uh, with each time as the newer improvement comes, it makes things more and more expensive. The reason is that unlike uh, other equipment like a cell phone or camera or something, with uh, making it less expensive, the number dramatically goes up. But with surgeries, you cannot have a exponential growth in numbers because uh, the number of surgeries are relatively fixed. So the corporates who fund all the research for rural areas, they like to make it more and more expensive. And the reason why uh, in the early days they started doing gastroscopic surgeries was that uh, in some patients, the high pressures which are the, the gases make it a little more difficult to use. And the uh, Gasless surgeries had the advantage that they did not cause any physiological changes and uh, more safe for patients. So then they started developing this sort of equipment, which is quite uh, complex, but they did not mind it because uh, it was only for special circumstances where regular laparoscopic surgery could not be used. But then there are so many other people because of the advantages of this started uh, developing equipment for doing gasless surgeries. But unfortunately, if you look at all these uh, equipment, they have what we call as tenting. The abdomen is lifted like this by a rod. So the field of uh, view or where you can do the operation is very limited. So it is not a very successful and uh, not many people uh, started using it when these equipment were developed in the 90s. And then the rich countries or Western countries, they started uh, developing these motorized equipment. Here the advantage is that uh, minor movements are possible with the use of uh, motors, but then still it did not uh, make the exposure similar to regular laparoscopic surgeries. Although there are many, many different types of equipment to tried, none of them was uh, very successful. The first uh, set of successful equipment 
was developed in Germany. This had a ring and uh, the way it lifted the abdomen looked uh, like almost like a regular laparoscopic surgeries. So then uh, we modified it uh, so that uh, it could be used almost like a regular laparoscopic surgeries. And also it does not take much time to fix the equipment and uh, start doing the surgeries. And here, if you just look at the pictures which are available in the monitor, it's very difficult to even make out that it is being done in the gasless surgeries. And now, because of the success of uh, the earlier equipment, where we had done more than uh, almost 1,200, uh, 2,500 surgeries now, and if we include all the places, the University of Leeds are working on a second generation of uh, equipment which is a global device in the sense that it can be used in a, any resource poor setting. So they did what we call uh, as Jugaad in Hindi or frugal innovation and a participatory design process where people who are going to do the surgery from medical colleges, from rural hospitals, from urban hospitals, all of them and Western areas came together to contribute to design the new equipment. And this is the new equipment that we are working on now, which will probably replace the previous set of equipment. And uh, this makes uh, laparoscopic surgeries, which are limited to urban areas, now possible in any rural or remote areas. Thank you.